Hello everyone, this is Mr. PFAN. I've created this short video to give you a brief introduction to Smart Music, show you how to log in, and show you some of the great features that the uh, program offers for you while you're practicing at home. So uh, Smart Music can be accessed in, on any web browser. Usually Google Chrome is the best browser to use. So I'm going to open up Chrome and I'm going to go to www.smartmusic.com. That will take me to the main website. Um, then I'm going to go up here to the right where it says Login. I'm going to select New Smart Music, which is the web-based version of Smart Music. And then it's going to ask you to log in. Um, in your school email, I've already sent you directions on how you can log in to my class. And your teacher will give you specific instructions on how you can create your own account on Smart Music. And I've created a student account for this demonstration. So I'm going to type it in and you type in your password and then you hit login I will not save my password and this is what the home page looks like so once you've logged in if your teacher has sent you any assignments already they will appear here on the left side of the screen if your teacher hasn't sent you any assignments you can still go on over here and look up any types of music that you're interested in Smart Music has a ton of music available for you to practice. Um, under Method Books right here, it has a number of the most popular method books. The method book that we use, Standard of Excellence, is here. So you can um, search uh, all of the content. If I type in Standard, it should pop up right here. Standard of Excellence Band Book 1 is the red book, Book 2 is the blue book, and Book 3 is the green book. So just as an example here, I'll show you. You can click on Band Book 2. When you log in for the first time, it asks you to pick your instrument. So it should already say your instrument over here. I just set it up as trumpet. And then down here under movement, you can select any of the songs that correlate with your book. So just as an example, I'll uh, pick Minka Minka. How about Minka Minka, number 25? We're going to hit open. And then the piece of music will load onto your screen. If you want smart music to be allowed to listen to your playing and give you feedback and it will show you your note corrections if you've gotten any notes wrong or incorrect. Um, you will allow your microphone to be accessed, so I'll hit allow. And this is what the main page looks like. So the first thing you need to know is how to start pressing the play button here. When you just press play, it won't record you, it will just let you practice along with it. If you press the record button, it'll listen back to you playing and give you feedback. And once you've made some recordings, you'll be able to submit it with your um, through, through to your teacher. So if I just hit play right off the bat, Minka Minka will start. It will give you a count off and then you can practice along. The default setting in Smart Music is that the accompaniment plays back and the metronome plays back. And you can use these volume sliders to adjust the volume of each of those things. If you want to hear your instrument's part being played, you unmute it right here and you can turn the volume up. I'll turn the metronome up and I'll turn the accompaniment back down a little bit. So now you'll be able to hear just the trumpet part playing. So um, some basic features that you can use while you're practicing is adjusting the tempo. Right now it's set at 92. Each song has a default tempo. So if you want to make it slower, you just lower the number. You can type it right in. If I'm practicing this and I want to slow it down a little bit, I'll put in 60. I'll play again. It slows down. Also over here we have a tuner as well. So you can click the tuner app and make sure that your instrument is in tune. Um, another great feature is the loop feature. So if you go up here to the top, you see the word loop. We'll click loop and you're going to hit set. Once you hit set, it will put up these little circles where you can drag and drop different sections of the music that you want to loop. So let's say I just wanted to practice measure three and four. I'll set this to begin at measure three and I'll set it to end at measure four. And now it will loop that section. So I'll change it back up to 80 here and it'll count you off each time. If I'm just isolating these two measures, I can practice it on loop. Watching out for that G sharp in the fourth measure. This G sharp right here carries through. So it'll continue to loop it as many times as you want it to until you hit pause and it'll stop. Uh, when you want to loop a different section, you just hit the button clear and there you go. So you, that is a really valuable tool when you're practicing. If you're isolating some passages that are difficult, you can loop, use that loop feature. It's great. 
Um, if I go back to record a take, let's say I want to record myself playing this, I'll hit the record button. It'll test your microphone. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. And right now my microphone is plugged in differently, so it's not gonna actually work for me. But, yes, I heard the sound. Okay, so now it will let me record it. It'll listen to me playing. And on your screen, it will give you feedback. So right now, it's listening to the sound of the trumpet that's playing through the computer, and it's hearing those notes being green or red. The green notes are the correct notes, the red notes are the incorrect notes, and as soon as I started speaking, it was listening to my voice. So that's why it marked it as incorrect. What I'll probably do now is go back to the tracks page, and I will adjust the my part, so I'll turn that off. And that way, it'll actually listen to you practice and be able to assess your notes. So just for the example, I'll just sing the notes so you can hear the difference between the correct notes and the incorrect notes. So I'll hit record again. Now, as you can see, when I started messing around, it heard all of the red notes being incorrect. So as you're playing your instrument with the microphone, it'll be a little bit more accurate with an actual instrument. So if you do one of your takes under my takes, if you do a recording that you really like, you can save it right here. And then it will save it directly to your downloads folder as a WAV file. And then you can send it into your teacher if you want or um, listen back to it. If I go back to the home page here, I want to show you how the assignments work. Same idea, but your teacher has sent you a specific assignment. So you can click on here. I've sent El Zorro Rojo as one of our tunes that we're working on. And then you're going to hit complete assignment. Select your instrument part. I'll do the trombone part. Hit OK. Now your teacher can assign all kinds of different things. If they want you to practice certain measures, they can set parameters. For the purpose of this example, I just set the assignment to play the whole song. And I set it so that you can adjust the tempo, whatever tempo you want. If you want to play it with the background tracks, you can. No real specific parameters for this example. But your teacher will give you specific instructions and it'll be listed on this screen. I'm gonna hit close. Here's my uh, first trombone part. So what I will do is I will record a take. Check one, two, one, two, three, ready to perform. And here's my first take. So since I'm not actually playing right now, it's marking a lot of things red because it's not hearing the proper notes being played at the same at the correct time. So anyway, let's say if I did that recording, I can listen back to it by hitting the play button and it will play back your recording. Okay, a little glitchy right now because I'm uh, doing the screen recording as well. But hopefully that should work on your end. When you find something that you're happy with and you're ready to submit it to your teacher, you just go right here and you can select which take you like the best and hit submit. And then it will submit it to your teacher. You can write a little note. Here is my song. And it will send it and by clicking submit, it'll send it right to your teacher, the MP3 of your, of your take. Okay? So that's just a basic overview of how smart music works. There's a million pieces of music that are available for you to practice with. So I hope that you use this as a value.